I wanted to do a video just reviewing this channel. Um, reviewing this video. Because I reviewed this video improperly before. And um, I was... I misunderstood what the video was about. I thought the video was actually about attacking women who were not doing anything to these women. But when I actually listened to what they were talking about, I was like, oh. And I totally relate to um, these people and what they're saying about certain other people, you know. So, yeah, I, I misunderstood because I watched a lot of stuff beforehand, so I didn't open up the video. I just looked at the um, front page, basically, of the um, sticky, basically, and it was showing, like, that they were attacking women, supposedly. I thought, I thought they were saying, she's a man, she, her body's fake, her hair's fake, <clears throat> she's only cute with makeup on, or something of that nature. And it's like, you know, I have seen other, I have seen other um, platforms, you know, attacking these people, like um, saying, not attacking them, but saying that they were pick me's and stuff and that they're bad people. So I assume, you know, with pick me's, many of the time, pick me's will just attack women unprovoked, just for no reason. So that's why I assumed that that was what they were doing. Added to the fact that, you know, um, I've talked, I've watched Six's channel and I've talked on her channel and I didn't really um, agree with what she was saying in one regard. You know, I um, come from a different sector than these women. So, you know, of course, we're going to disagree on some issues, you know, but I still just some of the things that were said in this video were right on point. And even some things that I did not think I would agree with. But let's continue. Screwdrivers, I will be shanking with screwdrivers today. Bitch, I have a damn machete. I don't even know what the hell this is. My husband got this shit. I will be swinging, slicing, and dicing, baby. Hold on, hold on, I ain't done six. Six, I ain't motherfucking done. Bitch, I will be, I will be zapping bitches today. We're going to be zapping bitches today. I, I choose violence. I am not. I'm not, I'm not going to be out here like this. I'm not jabbing bitches, none of that. I don't fight hyenas. I don't fight lions, tigers, and bears, bitch. We get weapons. So let me tell you guys what inspired today's discussion. So I'm chilling. I happened to see that my good sis, Six the Goddess, was live yesterday. I tapped, I stopped in for a little bit, all right, and showed her some love. I popped out, did my live video, popped back in, and I saw that she was then streaming another live stream of some chicks, okay, that was talking cash and money shit about my good sis. And then have the nerve to pull me into it. Let me tell y'all bitches something. Yeah, I said bitches. Let me tell y'all bitches something. This ain't surgery, bitch. Do you think titties move like this? Fake titties don't move like that, ho. Hold on. Ass is real. It, it's real, bitch. Waste. Snatched for the damn gods, bitch. Do you know my husband... The number one goddamn personal trainer in the country, motherfucker. Don't you come for me if I didn't send for you, bitch. If I said I need a taxi, I would have called a taxi, bitch. Yeah, I said, bitch. Oh, yeah. They, they, they're only pretty because they have a lot of plastic surgery. Bitch, where? What they're saying is that th their chest, their butt can't look that nice while actually having a flat stomach okay so i know this because i've experienced this all my life where people act like oh you're too skinny to have curves because when i was like 84 pounds i had curves 
And I was always like, you know, how are you going to say that someone is, you know, too skinny to have curves when it's not your body? What you're trying to say is that your body can't look that way when you are skinny, basically. Same thing with her. And a lot of people like this, you know, who fit this type of body type, when you have curves and you have a small waist and you are within a reasonable weight, you know, you don't even have to be as skinny as 84 pounds. You could be like 120, 130, and you still will be called fake because people don't like people who have curves and they have, you know, flat stomach because that's the, that's the best of both worlds. See, think of it this way. We have the fat, um, body empowerment, you know, um, movement. And then we have like people who have empowerment for like thinner women. Now the two appeals oppose each other. And so uh, basically the skinny women can, you know, claim they don't have a big gut and they're not overweight and things of that nature. Now the Overweight women can claim, well, look at us, we have curves, you know, we have a breast, we have big butts and hips and stuff, you know, and so then they use that against the skinny woman. Now, what do they have against a skinny woman with a nice a big butt and, you know, big boobs? They don't have anything against those type of women. And it's not even, it's not even just, you know, having both, like you could be an hourglass and of course they are the most jealous of them, but, um, there are plenty of women who are like, for example, pears and there are plenty of women who are top heavy, you know, and many of us get the same kind of hate because they're upset that we have some kind of curve. Basically, because it makes sense. If you are talking about curves and you're saying skinny women don't have curves, but skinny women do have curves, then that kind of encompasses a lot of different skinny women who actually do have curves, you know. So that's why I totally relate to this. Um, because it's like, yes, a lot of people who are overweight and misshapen will really hate curvy women who are skinny, basically, because now they... Ha now, we have basically everything that they want, basically. We have the waist, we have the thin body, we are within a healthy weight range. But then at the same time, we also have the curves that they claim to have over skinny women. So what do they have? You know, it's all because they have an insecurity with their body size. I don't even think that overweight women have to get skinny. I mean, it's better for their health to be slimmer, you know, but other than that, I mean, I just don't really think that, um, I don't think they're, they should have to feel less than or insecure about their phenotype. I would wish that they could find some happiness within themselves. So continuing. I'm just sick of it, six. I'm sick of it. Bitches want a, a reason to talk shit. And, and you know they ugly. This is what inspired today's discussion. You know you ugly. Yeah, I think the real thing is they feel they're ugly. Whether they are physically ugly or not, they definitely feel ugly inside. They feel inferior. If they didn't feel inferior, there's no need to attack something or take something down that's already on the ground. So continue. When you don't have a damn, you don't have nothing better to do but to pick on women that are not bothering you. Now, let's not get it twisted, six. Men have come for your, your good sis, too. Men have, mm -hmm. I, I'm tattooed, titty bitch. Um... Before I got my teeth and shit, I, I was uh, missing piano teeth. Uh, what else? Uh, you name it, that's what I was. And, and so the men have already come for your good sis. Mm -hmm. But now you got these hoes, god damn it. And see, when it comes to women, I can fight women, okay? When it comes to the men, all I can do, I can just get my husband on you. But he, you know. I don't like to entertain him with, with, with internet shit. He ain't gonna get too deeply involved. 
Okay, right. but well, you know, I, I'll just, the most I can do to a man is you know just talk petty back. That's all I can do. But but bitch, I can fight you. Okay, I can fight you with and I can come for you on the internet. Okay, so uh, ladies, ladies, please. Like I said, come on, man. I, I'll be trying not to go there, but y'all make us go there. And like I said, six, you know these hoes is ugly. Because beautiful women, attractive women, women that have things to do, don't have time to sit around talking about the next female. You just don't. And, and then if you look like this, Six, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, black screen ass bitch. What, 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 what? I mean, and then look at her. Oh, no, no. Oh, I can't even see you. I can't even see you, bitch. I can't even see you. What they're saying is they're too scared to show themselves because they are uncomfortable with themselves. Everything that they are expressing is basically saying, I do not like myself. I wish I was you. And my only thing that I can do is try to take you down to feel better about the fact that I hate myself. You know, kind of thing. Uh, if you are this! Uh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, black and green ass bitch! Black, black screen avatar shaking ass bitch! I don't need to see a blinking, talking avatar black screen, bitch. Don't come for me. Know somebody and, 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 and like, they can't even look at themselves. Bitch, you can't even look at yourself on the damn day. Can't even look at yourself. Got talking toys and shit as your avatar and shit. And I don't want to see your 1993 avatar either. I don't want to see your your uh your hot girl summer 2016 picture either. I want to see you. Live and direct today, bitch. Hmm. So that we can both go heads up and see what's what. If you can critique how I look, I need that same damn luxury, bitch. I don't want to see this. Stop doing that. And that's the thing. There are some people, you know, that show old photos of themselves in hopes to uh, basically make themselves feel a little bit better about what they lost in the past as far as their looks. So they try to uh, basically only show that image, you know? And, you know, I I agree with that, that you're saying like that, um, you know, when people deceive like that, many of the time they do that because they're really angry that they lost the looks that they had at one point and now they're mad that they don't have it anymore. And so when they see people like this, who have it still, it makes them really jealous. And it reminds them of everything that they don't have. So that could be another scenario. I hate you. <laughs> I mean, look at them. They have plastic surgery. Look at them. And they may be transformers. Bitch, we don't know what you are. Damn hyena. I'm going to assume you are a hyena. How about that? I'm going to assume that you are a damn hyena because I don't know. At least you got something to go by with me. So I'm going to highly suggest that men stay away from these ugly ass hoes. Yes, I, I'm saying what I'm, I told violence, bitch. I wasn't playing with y'all today. See, Danica, I mind my business. I mind my business, I give love, I show love when and where it's due. And it yeah, honestly, you can't be nice to ugly people like that because people like that are only going to try and make you feel badly about yourself, honestly. They're going to try and take you down because they are, you know, unhappy with themselves and the life they live. So it is what it is, you know. I think, yeah, most people should avoid these type of people. Male and female, for that matter. Women should avoid these people, to be honest, because they're only going to try and take women down. They're only going to uh, basically try to take men down that they're with. They're going to try and make that man feel like he's not good enough for anyone else because they'll always be jealous of him as well. You know, they're always going to... If they can't love themselves, how do you think they can love the man they're with? 
you know, they're just not going to be a healthy partner for their man. They're not going to be really good with the women that they're associated with and so forth. And, and if I don't like something, I ignore the shit. That's what I do. But no, y'all want to have whole live streams and shit. I choose violence, bitch. I'm going to encourage my brothers to stay away from these ugly ass hoes. Yes, I said it. Because number one, they're going to be highly insecure. Everything that you do, you won't be able to do it peacefully. Why? She's going to automatically assume you're cheating on her. She's going to assume that you up to no good. She's going to always be insecure about every little damn thing. So fellas, stay away from these ugly ass hoes. Ladies, stay away from these ugly assholes. Why? Because they're going to hate on you. They're going to hate on you. Uh, but uh, your eyebrow is kind of crooked just a little bit on the side, though. So you ain't that cute, bitch. And I saw you without your makeup, ho. And you ain't really all of that. And, bitch, I saw you. I saw that little, that little run in your stocking, bitch. So you really ain't that cute. Bitch, fuck you. <laughs> But 2021, RIP to the talking black screens, bitch. RIP to the talking blinking pictures, bitch. I need to see you live in the flesh. I need to be able to see you wiggle, break, dance. I need to see the spit coming from your damn mouth, bitch. If I can't, if I can't see that, you can't say shit about me. And you need to shut the fuck up. Ladies, steer clear of them. They are going to hate on you. They are going to try to chop you down, bring you down to size. And look, look. They cannot be trusted. Ugly women cannot be trusted. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, they uh, To me, I just think that they are basically poisonous for everyone. Because what's really wrong with them is they have a lot of poison inside them that's eating away at them. And so they're basically going to be a negative part of people's lives if they include them in their life, basically, in general. Why? Why, Six? L let, let's let my good sis, Six the Guys, explain why you can't trust a, a ugly female. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, let me first say this, okay? Let me say this first, because I know somebody is going to be ready to say this, and somebody going to be ready to say that beauty. <laughs> sis, how am I supposed to focus? <laughs> I just, I'm just letting you know I got your back, sis, because I this some bullshit. Do you understand? I am so weak right now. I ain't okay. even take the tag off my damn hammer, bitch. Come on. I'm going to take it back to the store once I'm done whooping your ass. Come on. Go ahead, sis. Explain. Now, let me be the one to say this, because I know this is always the argument. The argument is always that beauty is subjective. And no, it is not. And how you know that beauty is not subjective is by children. Okay. Mm. children will tell you who ugly and who's not period if children if if innocent children, if innocent children can look at somebody and say oh she's pretty or look at someone else like this that means beauty is not subjective okay mm. beauty is beauty ugly is ugly we all know what it is it's something we feel it's something we see yeah i definitely think this is true because beauty is definitely mathematic and people don't like to admit that. I think a lot of people who are unattractive hate the fact that beauty is mathematic because they feel like it's, they just feel like it's not, it's not um, something that they can change basically. So if it's not, if it is mathematic, it's like it's either a yes or a no. But if it's a fact, I mean, if it's not a fact and it's more like conditional and how they always say beauty is in the eye of the beholder and things of that nature, um, that's so they can feel like they are beautiful to someone, which to me, I'm like, everyone has a type. So, I mean, that's, that's a good thing in it. Whether you're beautiful or not, you will be beautiful to somebody else, you know. That's why people shouldn't be mad at the way they look. 
they should like how they look no matter what. When you see that person, you either feel aesthetically pleased or aesthetically displeased. So don't come on here with all the beauty is subjective shit because no, it's not. It is not subjective. It is actually objective. Number two, with that being said, I know some women that's ugly, but they keep their body in shape. They got a good attitude. They're pleasant to be around. They keep themselves well-groomed, well-dressed. They're confident. So even though they may be ugly, they still doing their thing. Uh -huh. I know that men will go for a woman who might be less attractive, but that's one thing I like about this video, too. They are talking about some of the things that they think would help improve an individual. So even if someone is unattractive, that's not even a knockdown to women who are unattractive. Keep herself up, got a good attitude, is positive before they go with a woman who is extremely attractive, but a total bitch and mm -hmm. totally disgusting. You know what I'm saying? So it's... And that, too. To me, it's like, you know, when someone finds a good partner for themselves to settle down with, it's like, well, they're going to mostly, you know, focus on someone who is compatible with them, you know, emotionally. I mean, you have to live with a person. It's not like you just look at the person for the rest of your life. You actually have to live with them. So, yeah. Sisters is out there that's doing their thing, period. Okay. So let me just go ahead and say that now. There's a difference between them and the hyenas. <laughs> dun, dun, now, dun. hyenas now, okay, let's now we got other women, then we got hyenas. There is a huge difference. Okay. The hyenas are the ones who don't care, they've given up on themselves. Okay, we talked about this the last time we were together, that women communicate with their looks. So when a woman look like she don't care about her body, when she is so ugly to where, you know, it, when she is so ugly to where she can't even get on camera and look at herself for her live stream, how can you trust a woman like that? She has given up on herself. Do you think for a second it's going to be safe to be anywhere in their vicinity? These women sit over there. We do our thing. When we do our thing, we say what we say. We do what we doing and we keep it moving. Okay? Then nobody mention these bitches. One nobody think about these bitches. One at nobody all. bothering these bitches at all. At all. Now, because they've given up on themselves and because they're miserable, now their solution is to come attack us. But you have to look at why. Because they're attacking us for simply existing. Us sitting here right now, breathing, pisses them off. Why is that? Because. Yeah, to me, I mean, like, I think with these type of people, they don't expect people to actually dig in and try to actually analyze why they're acting out the way they are. They expect people to be reactional to what they are saying rather than paying attention to what the root of their problem is, focusing on their own flaws. They spend every moment of their lives obsessing. And when I say obsessing, I mean obsessing over who doesn't want them, why they don't want them, we should divest. I'm tired of dark-skinned black women having negative attitudes, being masculine AF, bad body AF, and then turning around saying, black men don't want us because we dark-skinned. No, bitch. You are shaped like a Samsung, 55-inch. That's why. No, bitch, your attitude is disgusting. No, bitch, you're on the internet hating on other women who never bothered you. Your attitude is filthy. You're miserable. You're mad. To me, especially, it just seems like they have a lot of toxicity. Maybe that's why they attract a lot of negativity. You know, when you have a lot of toxicity, you might attract a lot of negativity, you know. It has nothing to do with them being dark-skinned. 
said it once, I've said it twice. It is extremely damaging, okay, to your feminine psyche to sit and obsess and consume yourself over people and spaces that don't want you, okay? So women like that, that all they do is focus on, literally every one of her videos is about Kevin Samuels. Why? Why? I think, honestly, because these type of people want, I guess, a something to do with, or they want, okay, so they want Kevin Samuels or something to do with Kevin Samuels, the men that follow Kevin Samuels or something. That's why they have an interest, because they have an invested interest, basically. Because, I mean, like, to me, it's just weird why... If they're not a compatible person to these women, why not find someone who is? But I feel like they feel those things that those people are saying about them is true. And so because it's true, they think that um, it's something that they have a flaw in. And so then they feel really insecure when he talks about it. And because they feel insecure about it, you know, they lash out and act up and keep commenting about what Kevin Samuels is saying today. You know, it's sad. Oh, hold on, hold on. So now you, you want to get into the tea of who these uh, hyenas are. I tried to look up an Instagram account. They don't even have that. I'm not, okay. and it's like, my thing is this. If, if you cannot stand next to a woman your own you can't speak on her so mm. my thing is these bitches sit on it on the internet doing all this sweetie sweetie let's go ahead and kill this right now okay go ahead what go would ahead. happen bitch if i see you in real life oh shit huh, uh, you know what i'm saying uh, let's, uh, let's take the internet shit out of these it. bitches is vouched they vouched let's take the internet stuff out of it Let's let's go ahead and talk about real life. I think people get too caught up in this internet shit sometimes. Oh. You have to understand, on the internet, it's fantasy. Life is fantasy for them. It's their escape away from the real life. So, of course, in real life, you know, they they wouldn't even be acting up in real life. Because it's back to reality for them. Okay. My thing, this is the, the number one problem I have. How you can spend hours on a live stream talking about other women's bodies with our snatch waist that we put the work in to maintain but you can't work out for two hours make it make sense and do a two-hour live stream but you can't exercise for well exercise wouldn't help them completely because in many cases they would still be someone who was basically um, not of the same, you know, size as someone like this. Basically, like, they might not have the same curves. They may be more shaped like a rectangle. So they won't have the same nice body. Their body might be flat as a board, you know. So that's probably why they're mad. Sorry, I don't know why, but I lost the time stamp on this so i might be skipping ahead oops my skin okay and washing my real hair making money masculine women spend all their time arguing telling men what they should do need to do speaking badly about their men then wonder why they don't want to have anything to do with them and I don't understand that. And it's getting out of control. And the fact... The thing is, I don't understand why tell men what to do when you could just find a man who is doing what you want him to do. I don't understand that. To me, I'm like, there's lots of people available to all sorts of different types of people. So find the one that's right for you. Why... Get angry at a man because he's not right for you. Let him be. Let him find the woman that is right for him, you know? That there was so many women on there with her. Yep. Made me sad, sis. 
Let, let me say yes. something, uh, Six. Let me say something real quick because I had actually, when you pulled it up, once you ended your stream, I went on there and I watched a little bit of the video. And it was some uh, sister on there and she was saying, she thought she was an older sister. And she was speaking under the guise of trying to save black women be, from, the, from being hotep hoes. And and that's that is so fucking disrespectful to me as a proud black woman that loves a proud black man. And, and not only am I proud of my people and who I am and where I come from, I am married to a black man. I was I was utterly disgusted by what I heard. And and I mean the whole conversation was that of Black women, we're trying to save you. We're trying to help you. Y'all are out here killing yourselves to look good. Y'all having all this plastic surgery. Y'all doing all of this, all of this pandering and what, what have you for these black men. And they don't love you. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't protect you. They're not marrying you. They're they're just pumping you with a bunch of babies. They just want to fuck you. That's what they were saying. To me, I don't get what I don't get here is this. Why do people tell other people what to do with their own lives? That's my thing. To me, I'm like, why can't, why would anyone care if a black woman chooses black men and prefers black men? Like, you should, I, I don't see why I should care, really. That's what I just don't get. And some people say save them, I guess, because, um, some people say there's like, um, some danger or whatever with black men or whatever the rate is for black femicide and things of that nature. And I understand that, you know, but to me, I mean, like if this is the, the life that they choose and that they basically have a preference and interest in, well, why not talk about how they can find a good one of the men that they prefer, you know, why not focus on that? Focusing on a man that is right for them, you know, whatever their color preference is, you know. On the live, I don't know. You probably didn't have time, but I had time to stop in for a little bit. I did not have time. I was out and about. I was right. Out. Yeah, I was. I was cooking and shit for my husband. You know, the same kind of man that you said doesn't give a fuck about us, that doesn't marry us. Yeah, um, I was I was cooking and I had a little bit of time to stop in and, and, and see what the what's up was. And that's the gist of the conversation. They were speaking to the fact of, you know, black women are basically wasting their time on black men trying to please them, trying to make sure that we're, we're looking good for them and taking care of them. And they're not doing anything for us. And we're out here needing to be saved is what they were essentially saying, especially they were, they were really going in on you six for whatever reason, maybe because oh, you're just a bad bitch. You know, you're just bad as hell. And so they don't have nothing else to do. And, and like you said, they, they just were looking for a way to attack you. And since, mm -hmm. you know, Kevin is popping right now and, you know, they found a link between you two, mm -hmm. they were able to, to pounce on you. See, yeah. I was just attached to you based upon me being on your, your profile and them skimming through your shit, mm -hmm. right? But they really didn't have a, a well, they segue have, honestly, talking about They've it. been making fake pages of you and all that type of shit, too. So I feel like it's the same thing. I think yeah. they have been okay. wanting to come for you as well. But again, they don't have a way to come for us, okay? They right. know if they just wake up and directly come for us that everyone's going to see through that shit and see they clearly are haters and keep moving. So don't get it twisted, sis. They've been lurking. Them little hands have been lurking, waiting to get on you, too. And I think it started with Kevin. Then they found out that bullshit that happened between me and him and then pulled you into it for me and you. Like, they, that's how desperate they are to find a way. Why? Because our existence debunks their entire existence. Like they really have built everything they have Telling women, black men don't love us, black men don't this, okay, don't, you don't got to worry about your weight, you don't got to worry about your looks, don't kill yourself. How, how is not being fat as hell killing yourself? That's not killing
kill you. Being fat is killing yourself. You think that staying in shape and being and being a healthy weight is killing yourself? No, being fat is killing yourself. You stupid bitch. So when women like us are simply a lot. To me, I I kind of feel like. I kind of feel like, you know, it is killing fat people that they're overweight, but I kind of feel like, well, if they, if they know the risk of being overweight, then that's their choice. But we could still uh, see that some men do like overweight women. So what's, to me, I'm like, well, there's somebody for them too, you know, kind of thing. And... You know, I, I don't really get what they're talking about, like, whatever um, issue between Kevin Samuels or whatever that that person was having or whatever. But I do think that um, people in certain sectors really do have an obsession with Kevin Samuels in an extreme way that I just don't really understand or get. But, yeah, going further. I pisses them off because... We are literally debunking everything they're saying. They're saying that no matter what we do, things will never be good, will never be better for you. And it's like, sis, we're over here, we're doing it right now. So then they find other ways to attack you. They was attacking my home, attacking my, attacking my look, attacking my body. And I'm just like, sis, you do know that after you sit there and do all of that, our existence still proves that everything that you're saying is not true. Our existence proves that, yes, when you do take care of yourself, when you be in your feminine energy, when you stop being over here trying to police men, focus on the negative, that good things do happen and you're happy. I think they're pissed off because they see that we're happy. Mm. Makes sense <clears throat> that they would be upset that someone is happy because you have to understand they, they're just living in misery and they live that way for a while. And so, you know, they, like, it's quite obvious they want what these people have, so then they obviously will have an issue with it and try and tarnish it to any level that they can. But, I mean, isn't that a bit flattering, honestly? At least I like to try and see any criticism for its positivity in it as well, you know? There's no way that they're happy. By us being happy... And being where we are, they don't like it because now their entire argument is falls apart by us just simply being here. You don't mm. see us making live streams about them. I don't have her posted up on our live stream. I didn't even know that they fit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's my problem with it. And to see so many black... And then apparently these are all the divestors, but this is what I'm seriously confused about. Talking, okay? Uh, so where y'all, where y'all white men at? I don't, I don't get this. So, so y'all sitting here and talking about black men are so this, black men are so that. Where is Bradley? Mm -hmm. Tyler, I don't, I don't understand that. Where is Bradley? You talk about black men. I honestly think they don't even want, want white men because they're always, if they're complaining about Kevin Samuels, Kevin Samuels focuses on black men. So why are you so focused on what Kevin Samuels is saying to black men? You're so obsessed with it because that's really what your interest is. And of course, no white man should go with people who don't even want them and just bring them up as an, as an excuse, as a threat, as something to use against black men to bash them. You know, I just think like no one should really want to go with someone who doesn't really want them. They're not lining up to marry us. Where is Brad and Tyler lining up to marry y'all? It ain't happening. These divestors live in a fantasy world fantasizing about swirling. Meanwhile, these white men are not checking for them. Like, they are... And many of them, you can tell, aren't even interracially dating. You can tell by some of the content that they talk about and how they talk about interracial dating they're definitely not interracially dating so it's like you know they're just talking about it but they're not actually doing it more i think it's just about attention rather than anything else i'm not checking for y'all 
They don't want your ugly ass either, sis. Period. They don't want your bad no. bill ass either, sis. So have no. several no. steady things, bitch. Because and it pisses me off, sis, because like we do nothing to deserve such treatment. You know what I mean? Like all we do and, and this is why it's so uncomfortable, especially um speaking the truth. Because with that comes a lot of attack. With that comes a lot of, you know, friction and confrontation. And I'm not really about that life unless I need to be. You know, people be like, well, the nigga, she, I wouldn't fuck with a nigga. You from St. Louis and all that. I'm really chill and I'm really a peaceful person, honestly. You know, you got to really push me to a level for me to pop off. But it, it gets annoying after a while to where you have so many people attacking you, like you said, for just merely simply existing and you're not doing anything. And I want to add in there just about the whole thing about certain sectors that are supposedly divested. I don't think they're truly divested, but I've noticed that just existing and living and breathing that they will even attack people who are divested. It's all about, like, how you carry yourself, um, how you look, your age, what you, certain things in your life, basically. If you don't fit someone that they don't have to be angry at, they won't be that angry at you. But if you're one of those people that they want to be angry at, it doesn't matter if you're divested, it doesn't matter if you're pro-black love, it doesn't matter if you are, like, one of those fence-sitters, the people who are um, uh, more so, like, rainbow swirlers and so forth. It wouldn't matter where you stood on the issue because they're just not going to like you just because they don't like you. Now, this is not to the true divesters. I don't really think this applies from my experience. But from the fake ones, yes. Go ahead. Wrong. Yeah, you're going to call out the BS. Yeah, you're going to try to correct things, but it's all for the greater good. And people are so stuck in their own ways that when you tell them to do better, they take that as a shot. They take that as you saying that something is wrong with them. And it's like, well... I'm not saying something is wrong with you, but it is something wrong with that, and that can be improved upon. And it's just, they just get so in their feelings to where instead of doing the self work, they want to go to work on you as far as. That's what I don't get is this. Okay, if it, some of the things that Danica Marie says and Six says is actually very um, helpful in what I've seen at least the advice that they've given. Now that advice is not going to be good for everybody because everybody has a different tactic and um, strategy when dating and with relationships, you know? So, I mean, it's not something that everyone has to take advice for. I don't understand why freak out on someone who just gave advice. They didn't say you must use this advice. This was the advice they gave you and they thought would be helpful. You know, that's, that's, not a bad thing how is it negative to give advice to someone you know if it works for that person it works if it's not good for them they don't have to take that advice why attack someone just because they have a different perspective that's what i don't get as attacking your character um diminishing you saying going as far as even saying that you are a man six right the yeah, they like to call people men when they don't like them. Because sometimes, okay, so for example, in those spaces, they're supposed to be pro-black women. So what they do is when a black woman is someone they don't like or they said simply something mild that they don't like, they'll make up that they're a man so then they can attack them because they don't want it to seem like they're attacking a black woman, basically. Women said you know what that makes me want to do? You know what that made me want to do, Danica? And I know you can't do this as a married woman, but it made me want to <laughs> take their nigga. It makes me want to take a nigga. I know how to make bitches lose weight. Okay? Y'all bitches having trouble losing weight? I know how to make... What? And to me, I don't think that's proof, but she has children, so how the heck could she be a man? Like, even making up that lie makes that person look really, really bad. 
because it's like you know that this person is a woman you're just making that up because you really hate this woman because you're jealous and because maybe she has a different perspective than you she lose weight okay that really made me want to take their nigga and have them stick out here it made me want to have them sitting up blowing up his phone like where are you please come home it made me want to make your man get missing Okay. Yeah. Let me let your nigga verify what sex I am. <laughs> That's what that made me want to do. I'm not gonna lie. It, it makes me want to be real petty and make bitches start losing weight. I know how to get you bitches on a good diet plan. <laughs> okay. I have you bitches sick out here. And uh, the worst part about it is I can't even do that because you bitches don't even have no man. No man oh. is checking for y'all. That's the okay. real thing. Every team. time a bitch come for me and I ask her, where is your nigga? What's his Instagram name? They automatically get real quiet after that. Oh, that's what I thought. So that's why I don't feed into that rhetoric. Because they'll sit there and say all that and be sick to their stomach if you come across their man. I'm talking about we'll have nightmare. I have these bitches sweating in their sleep if they keep playing with me. And that's what I got to say about that. Look, and, and, and look, I want to get in on that right quick because like you said, they talk all of this cash money shit about, you know, men, more specifically black men. Can we go there? We're going to go there. They talk all of this cash money shit about black men and how we're hotel hoes and we cape for black men and all of this, that, and the third. And it's like, okay, y'all are y'all are saying all of these things, and y'all don't have a man at all. So just be quiet. And, and like I said, it, it specifically triggers me because I am married to a black man. I am married to a black man. No, he's not rich. No, he's not tall and all of that shit. But guess what? He's a he's a solid ass brother though, and he has his own business, and he's grinding and he's working to get. Honestly, to me. It shouldn't matter if he has money or if he has, you know, if he's tall or whatever. If she likes him for him, are they married to him? Is that their man? How are you to judge the kind of man she's with? If she's happy with him and she's happy in the relationship she's in, there's no need to try and attack her for who she's with. to a position to where we're, we, look, we're not even there yet, sis, and we straight. First so, of all, those bitches be broke. Well, damn, six. Damn. You can't take this shit no more. These bitches broke as fuck. Get the fuck out of here, you broke ass bitches. Got the nerve to be talking about somebody else building with their man. You broke bitches. Well, they don't like um, women building with their men. I personally don't have an issue with it. I think that that's the, I, I think that's the personal route that I would take. But some people, they just don't like to build with their men. They think that he should be built already. You know, that's their preference. But still, again, what does it matter? If she chooses to build with her man, then that's no one's business but hers. If she's happy to do that and she's happy with her man, then that's all that should matter. These bitches got chime cards. These bitches don't got bank accounts. These broke at, at Section 8 bitches. Then got a nerd talking about, ah, and her husband, and, and he this, and he that, bitch. Girl, be all set. Black women want to say, oh, these black men broke. Bitch, you broke. And like you said, where is your rich man at? Girl, girl I cannot. I can't. <laughs> Where is your rich man? Where's your rich Asian man? Where's your rich white man? Where's your rich Hispanic man? Where they at though? Okay, because they, they have so much to say and it's like, bitch, you don't have nothing to show for anything. Anything at all. They say, they, they tell me, um, Six, I promote struggle love. Um, they call me a hotel mammy. To me, I don't get it. Um, some of the things she talks about I don't see why it matters if she likes black men or if she's talking to black men or not. If it's good advice, then <clears throat> to me, I kind of see it like 
Well, then, does it really matter what race she's talking about? At least from my perspective, some of the advice she gives I actually like. I might not apply it to black men, but I apply it to other men. Um, so I just kind of find it, like, weird that they would have an issue with her. Like, I mean, you really are going to attack someone for who they choose to be with or what they prefer? Like, what's wrong with you? Uh, they call me tattoo titty bitch. And men have called me that as well. Um, they call me uh, hoes. All kind of thing, right? And it's all because I am speaking the damn truth, calling things out so that what? We can do better. So that you can experience a good man as well. So that you can. Yeah, to me, it seems like she tries to give productive advice. Like I said, some people might not like that advice, but I don't get. If she thinks that's the road to finding a good man, and she feels that she has, then why shouldn't she share that? For people who want a man like hers, for example, for people who want a man of of any kind that, you know, could actually help with the advice she gives, then why does it really matter what, um, what she's saying on... Um, like, why does it matter what she's actually um, doing in her personal life? Or, like, if you don't like her personal life or you don't like the advice she gives, you just don't have to accept it, you know? Have a good man as well. So you can get dig down so good, like I just got done last night, and, and you wouldn't even have this kind of animosity. You wouldn't have this kind of animosity up in, in, up in you if you had some... I can attest to this. Um, I, I never had um, any animosity towards any woman when I was a virgin. And I was a virgin a long time. So, I mean, like, I don't think sex would even help them. I think they're just naturally toxic people, regardless, you know. And they need to work on themselves, honestly, before they can really be with anyone because they're just going to be toxic to whoever they're with, whatever race, whatever tax bracket and so forth. The penis up in you, if you had a good man with some good penis up in you, you wouldn't have all of this hatred up in you with your ugly ass. And so I'm just trying to help you out. I'm trying to help you out, but what you want to do? You want to deflect. What you want to do? You want to, you want to call me uh, a hotel mammy. What you want to do? You want to call me a, a, a transformer. Bitch, I was born. And then, sis, this will really get me. You ain't really all that cute without your makeup and your eyelashes. Bitch, when I take off my makeup, I look 12. I have to put on damn makeup, girl, so you can know I'm a grown woman. I'm a grown woman, bitch. Ask, ask Black Intro TV if he's still here. He said, damn, Danica, you look like a little kid without your makeup. I got to right. put on damn eyelashes, ho. Me too. Not because it's I'm ugly. Wrong, not to look good. And, okay, well, first of all, no. First of all, no. These bitches look ugly with makeup. <laughs> Damn. Oh, y'all bitches don't look good without makeup. Bitch, you don't look ugly. You don't look good with it. Bitch, you can put on 10 pounds of makeup, but bitch, you still look ugly. Y'all bitches don't look all that good without that makeup. Bitch, you don't look good at all with it. Miami, bitch. How about that? <laughs> Man, these bitches. Black men are ours. Black men are ours. They belong to us. And let me tell you, let me tell you how I knew last night that I was not going to entertain this bitch. Is when I'm looking at the video, do, 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 and I'm just there. I kind of feel black men can go wherever they want. You know, I support black men divesting. So I just wanted to put that out there. But black men who love black women, you know, there are many of those too. And that's true. Uh, um, They said earlier about how black men don't love black women. I, I kind of think they do. Um, But, I mean, you know, people have different preferences and things of that nature, male or female. I thought it was funny. And right as I was getting ready to go in, my black man called me. Tell my baby, ready? 
and be, be about ready to go. And I was like, you know what? That was my sign from God. Bitch, I gotta go. My <laughs> black man for me. About him, I gotta go. I gotta go gallivant over there and look good around with him. While y'all bitches sit here on the internet talking about the next bitch and her vagina. That's okay. how I knew. It is so dangerous and so unwise as a black woman to disassociate yourself from black men. And let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you the part about this. This is on a more serious note. Black women like that, like I said, I do feel bad for because imagine how much you must have no good black men in your life. If you are able, they were on there talking, telling us that black men are monkeys and primates. Yeah, I feel uncomfortable when they say those things, honestly, because it's like, Oh, they're trying to say basically that they are, you have to think, what is the difference between a black man and a white man? <clears throat> the difference between a black man and a white man <clears throat> is that basically one is black and one is white. They're both men, one is black and one is white. So basically what you're saying, the thing that makes a man an ape is being black. And so being that the thing that black women and black men have in common is being black, you know what that correlates to black women. And honestly, that's a major reason why I don't use the term myself. Now, I do think that, um, I think that black men and black women I think they sometimes can associate with each other or not be associated with each other in general. But I don't really know like about like disassociating with black men. That's one thing that I'm just like, eh, I don't know. Like I've all my life I've had black people in my life that were not fully black, so I mean like does that count? I guess that counts. Uh, let's just let it continue. See where she goes. Wow. So this is my thing. Imagine how you must not have not one positive black man in your life to have the freedom and space to get on the internet and talk about black men like that. My heart goes out to sisters like that. Okay. I cannot sit there and talk about black men this or black men that. And I have a black son. I cannot get on here and talk. Yeah, I get that, honestly. And to me, uh, the way I see it is you can't really see too negatively about black men as a black woman because it's like, well, you are black too. So you're basically saying that there's a negativity on blackness. Many of these channels, you can tell there is a negativity on blackness because they have a hate towards white women, for example. And the reason they have that hate towards white women is because they feel inferior to white women. And it correlates back to the whole idea of white men being better than black men, white women being better than black women. So, you know, this is why a major focal point on my channel is to feature white women to just let people know that on my channel I don't have any hate or issue against white women. I don't feel inferior to white women, so I don't feel angry at them for that, you know. And that applies to, obviously, black men versus white men in the regard of quality of men. Um, everyone knows I have my own personal physical preference, you know, but... As far as, you know, the quality of human beings, women who are white, women who are black, men who are white, men who are black, you know, I think we all stand on an equal level. So, going further. About black men this, black men that, and I have a black father that loves me and adores me. I cannot say that. I'm like, you bitches must not have any black men in your life that love you and my heart goes out for you. Yeah, and that's the thing to me, it's just kind of like, it speaks to the kind of family they come from. One also, to me, is kind of weird, because it's like, 
any children you have are going to be black. So, I mean, you can have black sons. Um, and your uncles, your father, your grandparents, and so forth. You know, you mean to tell me that you come from, like, one of those families that basically probably were all from what they call black at stand, which basically means the hood. Um, and you can see many of those people do have histories like that, so that's why they view it that way. You know, they associate um, inferiority, um, low vibration, and a poor quality of life with their blackness. So therefore, that's why they associate black men with being beneath white men. They have that same correlation with black women versus white women, too. That's where the anger comes from. I would be devastated if my black father or black son got on the internet talking about black women are primate, divest from that. I would be devastated. Okay, the black men in my life cannot get on the internet talking bad about black women because they have me. So when I have positive black men in my life, when I have given birth to a black man, Ooh, how yeah. can I sit there and talk about black men are monkeys and we need to leave them alone and they're dangerous? Miss, they come from us. So if he a fucking monkey, what are you? A gorilla. Oh my gosh. And, and like you said, Six, that's what, that's what. Yes, exactly. They do feel like they are apes. And you can tell this, like I said, because when it comes in correlation to white women, they feel inferior to them. It pisses me off the most. Like, of course, that's going to always be bad apples, bad seeds, right? But that's, in, but that's within every group. You know what I mean? Yeah, and so what I just said is a bar. That a, what you on. just said was a, a bar. That's and so, the whole argument. The whole argument is dead. Races. Matter of fact, other races be worse. I'm telling you. And the other races don't view you as the black man will view you. So if you think the black man treats you like shit, why do you think they're going to treat you? I think encouraging like a racist view of black men definitely encourages other races to see black women in a very negative light. Because we're running... We're one in the same because we come from the same families. We come from the same race. We're not going to really have a separate identity, black women versus black men. We're not going to have a separate race called the black woman or the black man. You see, other races don't do this, you know. And it's a weird concept that some black content creators have this idea to me. But I try to leave it alone. I mean... Mostly, what bothers me is the inferiority complex when it comes to white women. Like, they need to have a better self-esteem. And also, if that creates better relationships for them in interracial relationships. Because if you are constantly going after people you think are better than you, look at the dynamic you're going to enter into in a relationship, you know. But that's, that's beside the point. The point I'm trying to make is this. In every group, that's going to be bad apples. The difference is... Exactly. There are going to be bad apples in every group. And, you know, a major thing with some of those channels, they don't address the bad apples among interracial dating. You know, they don't focus on that when they should focus on that to focus on what to avoid. I mean, if you are interracially dating, shouldn't you be focusing on what to avoid and who to actually go for rather than focusing on black men who are bad apples when you're not even considering black men? But the thing is there is that these people don't really care about white men they don't care about dating white men they're not interested in white men they're just using that topic to try to attack black men because they're saying that black men are so bad that they have to go to white men which is just a sad statement and just icky to me as someone who interracially dates to me it's just like why are you trying to use what we do to basically attack black men when it's like, you're not even interested in actually living that life. 
your vibrational pull. The difference is what you are able to reflect and attract to you. So if you're having bad experiences with low vibrational ass niggas because you can't get a good black man, and it is. Honestly, with that, they are attracting men who are very um, low vibrational, who are black men in some cases, in those cases, especially when they usually have a past of dating black men and things of that nature, um, because they basically um, are very toxic. Like these examples that are given where they're attacking women online for no reason, who are just living in their lives, you know? Um, so of course, if you're a toxic person, you're going to attract negativity and, you know, low class men and men that are no good for you, you know? Without a doubt, a difference between niggas and black men and niggas are amongst every group as well. It's a low vibe. Very true. There is. Every group has smoke, basically, you know, and I think people should focus on how to avoid the smoke in the race that they are dating. Um, I don't think we should be attacking them. Like, for example, if you uh, date white men, should you just focus on attacking white smoke? I don't think you should. Because especially if you've been involved with them in the past, that kind of just sheds a bad light on you. And you know, channels like, for example, Cynthia G, who just basically attack black men who are, you know, black smoke or whatever. And she's interested in black men. You know, to me, it's just like those type of people, you know, put a bad light on themselves because they are interested in the very men that are, um, you know, of low vibration and low class, basically. So going further, I, I only have like maybe a minute or two left. Maybe half a minute. Vibrational character, it is not a race. Uh -huh. But let's make this point though, Six. If you cannot. Eh, I guess I'm done. Oh yeah, I can't tape anymore, shoot. Okay, well, yeah, I liked the um, video so far. It was um, really good. Um, it uh, To me, I just think, like, I, for some reason, thought differently of what um, they were going to talk about here. I thought they were just critiquing and attacking women for no reason, especially if they didn't even know if they, you know, had fake bodies or fake hair or were trying to call them men or something. But apparently it wasn't that. It was actually that she was just attacked and six was attacked for um having nice bodies and being pretty women you know and some women being jealous of them for that you know and honestly i would say there are plenty of people in the especially the fence sitter sector and the fake divester sectors that actually do attack women on a regular basis for no reason just for existing you know I think, honestly, this applies especially to the people who spend all their time attacking black men, but they have no interest in actually interracially dating, and also for the people who are actually interested in black men, but they, for example, like a Cynthia G channel, who is like attracted to black men and to black men, but constantly tear down black men for no reason, you know, those type of... Um, channels often do attack black women and the thing is they're supposed to be a part of the black women empowerment uh, sector yet they're the main ones attacking black women you know and it's like how do you expect to be really empowering black women when you're literally trying to attack black women every chance you get just because they disagree with you on a topic and they live a different lifestyle than you it's because they're not about empowering black women. They're about tearing black women apart that they feel inferior to. They're insecure women. And because they're insecure, they wish that other black women were insecure like them. So that's all I have to say in this video. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe and comment down below. Have a great day, guys. Bye.